welcome back to another video guys and today we're going to talk about a track that is very possible to be joining the 2020 f1 calendar and if not this year next season or along the road we will see algarve on the f1 circus now algarve is a track that deserves a lot more recognition that it, it gets and uh it's a really fun circuit to drive on sims and it's a track that has uh, provided a bit of history over the course of the last weekend. Now, last weekend, the first uh, international event was held and I think the first racing event in Europe was held since the uh, coronavirus pandemic and how good is it? to see racing back and it was a 24 hour race the 24 hours of Portimao and it was a pretty good event uh, obviously with teams not being able to run their cars there due to travel restrictions and uh, they had to run a, a pretty cool uh, refueling station due to teams probably not being able to afford their own refueling uh, unit so that was cool they they created this whole kind of new <laughs> wave of motorsport new trends that we've never seen before and for now will have to be the future but uh, you know 15 cars was there the entry list 15 cars I think 11 finished I watched probably 17 hours of it it was nine hours throughout the night where there was no commentary it was just onboard cameras um because everyone just went to sleep they couldn't be bothered but no algarve or pet uh put them out is an incredible circuit and it does deserve more recognition than it was getting not all that long ago and now people <laughs> are realizing that this track even exists and they're like oh yeah this track's awesome lads this track is absolutely awesome why don't we go here oh no been off Imola, been off Mugello been off Nürburgring, been off Hockenheim now they're jumping on this train and I'm not complaining because this circuit I think opened 2006 it is a top top facility and I am excited to see what the future holds for a circuit that as I said deserves more recognition it's kind of just sat faded away it's held events like uh, the World Superbikes the A1GP back in the day which is a, a bit of a tester <laughs> for what we could see in F1 if you want to watch the races there on YouTube uh, I watched them not all that long ago but no it, it it's a track that's it, there's a few issues that I want to talk about and there's some big big uh, things that I uh, quite like about the circuit and how about we start off with the negatives the ne what the main negative I would say is the fact that the <laughs> the elevation could be a little bit dangerous for the cars I feel like uh, it could hurt the cars a little bit like the the floorboards could uh, <laughs> hit the uh, hit the surface of the road just due to how the front uh, front straight is and other corners but the, the elevation incredible and we'll get onto that later but another one is I think that it's not the greatest for overtaking although I do think it's better than Mugello and Imola combined I think this circuit will provide half decent racing I've seen people saying oh Russia's gonna be better racing than this this shithole nah I really uh, I, d I don't think that's even possible to be honest I think this track it's got some really good overtaking opportunities and one of the issues uh, is the layout there's not too many configurations they can go but uh, the issue I've seen with the main layout is the first corner or first and second corner how fast they are and that's just bound for chaos I mean it's like Hockenheim but even quicker because it's such a long straight and the good news is 
that they've stated, uh, the, the CEO of the circuit has stated that they will run, if F1 does go there, uh, that they will run the inside chicane, which is always good to see that they even have the option. I think they run that with the when the superbikes go there. I haven't watched superbike racing there, but uh, I think they run that chicane for superbikes. I think that's the main purpose of it. But looks like it could be a use for F1 soon, and then they have a up at the hairpin where there's the big VIP. Uh, kind of media center I think it is um is that inside hairpin which is a little less tight uh, and then there's the main hairpin for the main circuit which is quite tight which I think they need to use because it's gonna be the one that provides more overtaking you know and uh, the issue is of how tight the corners are before that but then there's a big straight or a fairly decent straight if they put DRS there, I think that could provide good ra uh, good racing up until that hairpin, see some overtakes there. Then we've got a pretty uh, <laughs> an awesome bit of racing circuit. Not perfect for racing overall, but no, not too bad. Especially that it kind of the very fast right hander and then into that uh, quite heavy ba braking zone and. No, it's just incredible. I love it. It's just an awesome circuit. And it's just the elevation. Incredible. Absolutely awesome. And I just hope this circuit can come onto the circuits of Formula 1. The good thing is, the F1 want this circuit. They said they, well, they haven't officially, but... I think I saw on motorsport.com they said they want to go here and that they don't care about the money they uh, they just want to go racing and that's what we need at this point and I, I think this year is pretty much out the window I think we need to experiment with you know new things and oh, it's going to be really cool really really cool and hopefully we see this circuit on the calendar this year but uh shout out to meerkat he doesn't shut up about this circuit <laughs> i'm joking man i'm joking if you're watching eh? uh, but a few things i'll be doing this month i'm sorry that i've been away a few projects i've been working on they'll be coming out very shortly uh the Motor Meerkat World Series on Project Cars 2. We have pre-season 24th of June, so stay tuned. I think that's at 5 p.m. I think pre-season is on. I'll be streaming over on maybe Twitch or YouTube. I'll keep you posted. Follow my Twitter if you want to know what I'll be doing there. Uh, I'm not super active. <laughs> maybe one post a day. Uh, a f five if I'm feeling lucky but the season will start I think 27th and then every Saturday from then on I don't know officially what time but uh, watch, <laughs> subscribe to Meerkat because he will be streaming the uh, the event he won't be taking part but he will be streaming and I will be uh, having a bit of fun I'm not going to take it awfully seriously but you know, I want to get some good results, but I'm sorry I haven't been uploading. I think it's been six days now, seven days a week. I'm sorry about that, but I will see you next time, guys. Goodbye. Just die.